Welcome back to Digger Down Metal Detecting. I'll try and get you in a spot where the sun's on my face so you can actually see me. Flags flying high. Here we are at RCM Rally um, 2024. We're just currently, this is, we're, I'm here early. I'm here early with Jordan. Um, he's gone off to get some other bits, but tent set up or half cent set up. We've got set up shop, put all the gear out. Um, and set up a little camp um but yeah we're here we're here um yeah looking forward to this one good good land out here good um very good spot good roman spot um i'll turn you around for a second everybody is as you can see still setting up there's the big tent all you guys will be here uh, a lot of you will be here tomorrow and then Saturday, Saturday will be the big day, I guess. Most of you'll be setting up tomorrow. Um, got plenty of food stalls over there. Um, looks like Pete, so I haven't actually had a chance to look properly yet. Well, I think these guys were here last RCM rally. Um, but yeah, everybody's still getting set up. There's Regtons, uh, XP. I think Crawfords are gonna come and pop up next to us somewhere here. Um, but yeah, Dragon Tent all ready to go, look beautiful stuff but yeah really really looking forward to this weekend it's going to be an absolute cracker um oh yeah don't forget we've got knocked right next to us look right next door <laughs> um but yeah no really looking forward to this i think digger dawn's over there heard her before i saw her <laughs> she's over by a car bless her love digger dawn um but yeah no it's going to be a, a cracking weekend can't wait to get stuck into it all um some crack and detect and but yeah i'll be i'll be by the tent most of the morning tomorrow i think um with the mad rush people popping in i'll be uh, i'll be here to say hello to people so yeah come and find me follow the flag flying high <laughs> but yeah i'll see you um i'll see you on the first hole hopefully guys it is the friday friday is the first day we're actually allowed out to detect um as you can see field full of uh, detectorists wild detectorists everywhere <laughs> can't do it david attenborough i'm not gonna try um got henry got the griffs hello. behind us hello Hi. um and i've just had my first signal it was a little 12 a tiny little button little pewter button um but yeah hopefully many more to come seems there's signals on here anyway but yeah we've got this bit of pasture here to start with um i think there's some more sorry about swinging you around some more over the back here over these fields just see some people through the trees there i don't know how to get to those ones yet um but yeah hopefully we'll have a good time here um i am already if i'm honest it's absolutely brilliant it's just nice to see everybody isn't it meet people um but yeah we'll carry on we'll have a little play on here and see how we get on i'll see you on that second hole i think we'll do a live on this one this isn't my second signal i actually had another button this one's a little iffy but mind you so was that last button 37 36 the ground's not been too bad so far it's quite easy fairly easy digging i said that just as i found probably the hardest bit of ground i've had so far What's soft there. <laughs> Bit of pasture to start the weekend. It's certainly brightened up now. Still in the hole. Try and move that bit of soil out of the way. I think Henry's just had a thimble from what I could hear. Right, just down that side, just missed it, I think. Oh, with my terrible digging. Still just in that side, I think. What's it gonna be? It's quite deep. It's 
still down there. <laughs> Try and clean it out. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Shush pinpointer. Oh, there it is in the side. Um, I think that may have been. I just dinged it. It's totally ruined anyway. It's totally uh, rusted up. I think it might be a bit of what's left of a military button. Maybe, but it's completely destroyed. What do you got, mate? Sorry for interrupting you. No, you're alright. Got a bucket list here. A bucket list? Oh, look. My first ever beehive thimble. A beehive thimble? I think it's a beehive. Look at, yeah, it is, mate. Yes. Yeah, it's an old one. Look at that. What a beauty, mate. That's lovely. Complete as well, look. That's smashing, mate. What a find. Woohoo! <laughs> should have filmed this one, shouldn't I, guys? Yeah, you should have been live. <laughs> I know. Have it was so iffy, live. though. It was so iffy. It was like, it's, well, how deep is that? Let's have a look. It is pinpoint of depth, about nine inches. And I think we've got a big Roman coin. Look at this. Absolute beauty. A bit covered in dirt at the minute. Let's give it a little spray up whilst you're on. Try and you like that, don't you? My yeah. Little, my little phone rest. Love this is the sp this is spray cam. <laughs> spray it's very up. professional. They're very professional. Oh, look at this! It's a radiant. Oh, it's lovely. It's oh. a radiant coin. That is cracking. Oh, wow. That is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Look at that. What have we got on the back here? It's very good condition. Mm. If they're going to come up like oh, that. Yeah. What were the numbers? 50, about 50. 50. Yeah, it's quite Did a big coin, I guess. As well? Yeah, it, it was, but then it's tall grass here, isn't it? Mm. And it was 9 inches as well. Yeah. I was I was probably 11 inches above it. 10, 11 inches probably, yeah, aren't I? Yeah. 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 But Ooh. that is, that's cracking, that. Mm. That's a beauty. Let's give it a little brush, gently. That is lovely. Yeah. Be better if it was dry, possibly. Let's just have a look dry. There we go. Look at that. What a cracking coin. Yeah, that was coming up. That's quite high for a Roman, isn't it? Mm. 50. Mm. Very low usually, but that is, yeah. It's bronze. It is definitely, yeah. Yeah, that's bronze. Yeah. Just a dark, it's a very dark bronze. Maybe it's just a high content of bronze, possibly. A high mm, content of copper maybe. in that one, making it higher. Maybe. That is cracking. Beautiful. What a start. Well done. Get in there, Dad. I just found that Roman if I'm honest that's absolutely crazy I've got another little 30 not too I'm not too far away from it where I was again a very iffy that last that Roman was very iffy signals why I didn't film it but this is a 34 a little bit lower numbers oh, it's a bit tougher in there the grass isn't helping got to cut through the grass as well long over here I think that's why people haven't been over this side um, quite long grass people tend to avoid that it's too hard work <laughs> I'm very tired today guys if I'm honest um, woke up early set up the dragon tent and uh, sort of helped out Jordan yeah it's quite tiring <laughs> meeting everybody surprising really isn't it Oh, there we go. It's out in this clump. Oh, there we go. What we got there? Let's uh, spring the clod out. It looks like... Kind of looks like a... Maybe a cat badge? Possibly? No? Not sure, actually. I'm not entirely sure what that is. That's an odd one. Would have been round. No, not a cat badge, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure on that at all, if I'm honest. 
bit of an odd one. But yeah, we'll have a look later on, see if I can see anything on it. If I do, I'll let you know. Well, I really need to start doing live digs, I think. Uh, this was really deep again, but they're so iffy, such iffy signals. And it's sat here, just in this clod. Now, I don't know, but that could well be... I haven't obviously looked at it yet, but it could well be another Roman coin. Possibly. What do you make of that, guys? Look at that, sticking out of the clod. But that was, like, again, it's a good nine inches again. That's absolutely crazy. Is that another Roman coin? I don't even know yet. It might not be. Could even just be a button. <laughs> I don't think it is, though. No, it's looking reasonably good. Let me just... Um... Put on my little rest again and we'll try and have a little clean up and hope for the best. Let's get you around in the sun a bit. Sorry guys, you're all uh, flying about now. What have we got here? Is that a Roman? No, it's not. That's actually a little <laughs> Victoria bunhead farthing, would you believe? I think. Yeah, it is. There we go. Look at that. What's the date on that? I can't even see my screen. 18. Is that 1886 or 88? 86. Look at that. Tiny little farthing at that depth. Good nine inches again. But I, I, like I say, I'm above the tall grass as well. So even higher, really. Even with the little nine inch coil. That's just immense. Absolute beast of a machine. But yeah, little Vicky Bunhead farthing. Pretty solid. 22, well, 23, 25 are saying there. 24. Nice sort of dot on the screen. Come out of that long grass now. It's quite hard work. Um, worth it though. Definitely for that Roman coin anyway. Ground's a bit tougher here. Definitely dried up, but we've got some arable land to go on as well, I think, so. Deep again, always underneath the plug. I'm digging quite deep plugs and they're still coming up underneath them. Still in the hole. Try the pinpointer. I think they've got, oh my god, no way, no freaking way, oh I'm going to have to get the other camera, that's a fibula brooch, I don't know if you can see that, it's just there, I'm going to have to get on the other camera guys, here we go guys, I can't believe this, I really can't, absolutely solid numbers, solid as anything it was mate, just down here look, beautiful fibula brooch, sorry the light is wrong, it's uh, reflecting off my hand there but, Oh, it's got the pin and it, oh, not the pin, the um, the spring and everything. That is incredible. Oh, it's patterned as well. Oh my God, look at that. It's actually got some nice detail on it. You know what? I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna clean that up on camera. I'm gonna clean it up off camera because I need to be careful with that. Um, and then I'll come back to you guys and let you see it. That is amazing. Look at that, beautiful, sun's going down, bit of a sunset, just a beautiful time of day. Starting to cool down a little bit luckily because it has been mega hot actually. And I've got myself a reasonable, there's a lot of iron around it which is throwing the dots off. 28, 29, quite a sweet little signal that actually. In between the iron there, quite oh, that's hard. <laughs> Some of this ground is like mega hard. It seems like every time I do a live dig, it's super hard ground. And then there's a soft bit right beside it. <laughs> yeah, it just seems like every time I do a live, it's been uh, really tough digging. <laughs> 
again, that's in the in the hole still. Most stuff seems to be pretty deep on here. I've had a few surfacey finds. I think that's um, I think it's been ploughed previous previously. There we go. We got it. Pinpointers. Oh no, this could be a problem. Pinpointers stuck in my bag again. I might. I'm going to have to come back to you guys because I can't get my pinpointer out of my bag. Uh. Right, let's continue, shall we, guys? <laughs> pinpointers. I've had some help from Sam. Thank you, Sam. She came and got my pinpointer out of my bag. <laughs> what have we got in here? Oh, that is deep. Funny, it didn't show that deep on the um, on the screen. Actually, it was uh, quite a full depth. That's down there a fair way, that. Is that just going off or is that it? Where is it? Where are you? What's going on here? I thought we had it there. Nope, maybe not. Oh, yeah. It's out apparently. It's here somewhere. Well, it's not that. Definitely not that little nail, that's for sure. That must be the iron that was in the hole around it. Where are you then? I'm sure that signal's got to be still in there. It can't have been that. It was just too good a signal for that. Let's have a little look with the machine. Maybe it was. Maybe it was that. Just a little nail. No, it's not. I forgot actually it wasn't, it was out wasn't it? It's in these uh, clods here. That's because I got confused with my uh, pinpointer being stuck. There we go, it's fell out. Is that a little button? Yes it is, it's a little button. But you see that iron in the hole beside it? There you go, yeah, tiny little button. Just a bit of broken shank on the back. No button porn this time. Only I get upset. You get upset? What? Finding what? When you find stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what are you upset oh, about? There's nothing. To be, it's not to be upset about, mate. What, what did you just find? Oh yeah. Uh, do we want to show it on my channel? You do it. Maybe we'll wait. Well, you can wait. It's up to you. Oh, he's found something nice. Mm. We need to go and look at Henry's channel, really, Ooh, don't we? Oh, you spoil me. Yeah. Too much tension. <laughs> oh, bit of tension. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're having a cracking day, aren't we? Look at this beautiful place. Beautiful sunset, absolutely cracking. Um, and I think we're going to call it a day, aren't we, guys? Are yeah. we going to? Yeah. I think so. burnt. Yeah, camps that way somewhere over there. Barbecue brewing. Oh, well. barbecue brewing. Yeah, we can't beat a barbecue. Let's have a look at some nightlife, shall we? <laughs> Hello! All silhouettes! <laughs> People everywhere. Morning, guys. Um, I'm just in the coffee queue. Um, everybody's actually heading out. Obviously, I'm doing helping out Jordan on the dragon tent, so I'm a bit late leaving. But um, yeah, we'll see how we get on today. I haven't got my mic on either. I'm not prepared this morning. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, should be a good day. Everybody's heading out. Lots of people. Herds of them. Herds of them everywhere. Look. Um, but yeah, no, should be a good day. Um, had a cracking day yesterday, didn't we? Just can't wait to get back out there. There's got to be more. There we are, guys. We've finally managed to get out um, on this beautiful bit of pasture, actually, just right next to the bit of pasture we were on yesterday, which is the other side of these trees. But look at this place. Old oak trees. Very, very old oak trees, some of these. Um, but yeah, beautiful bit of pasture. Um, yeah, like I say, next door to where we were yesterday and we were finding Roman stuff, that beautiful fibula and coins. So yeah, absolutely cracking. Um, 
yeah, and we're heading, I think that's a Roman road over that end of the field. And I think there's a Roman villa or was a Roman villa up this, up this way somewhere. Um, so yeah, we're going to go and have a look at that. We've just jumped a ditch, <laughs> got a muddy boot, <laughs> but yeah, no, that was good fun. Um, but yeah, we'll see what we find today, guys. Hopefully it'll be good, a good day. It's going to be a long one. I'll see you on that first hole. Right, a few steps in, got a nice little 24, 25 there. Literally took a few steps after talking to you there. <laughs> Always the way, isn't it? First hole of the day, what are we gonna have? Nice little 24, 25. Not very deep, it's in the plug, this one, which is uh, actually unusual for here. It uh, seems most things have been pretty deep, haven't they? So I don't think this is very deep at all, actually. But then I think it's all been ploughed at some point. We had a beep there. Definitely in the plug, I thought, but. Oh, no. Where is it? Where are you? Lost it completely now. Oh, it's underneath. Is it? Is it fell out of the plug? It's here somewhere. It's in my hand apparently, but it's clearly tiny, whatever it is. Strange little piece of like bronzy stuff. Not sure. Just a bit of trash, but that was tiny. Um, no wonder I struggled to find it. But yeah, we'll move on. Well, we've got this one here. It sounds actually very close to the surface, but it's a 74. 77 jumping around sounds very close to the surface almost sounds too close to me but no, maybe it's just fairly big and a bit further down but yeah sounded very shallow that it's not let's have a little dig then i like the sound of that like I say, what's it saying depth-wise? Oh, it's saying three down, but it's given the double beeps like it's near the, right on the surface nearly. It does that sometimes. I suppose if it's a bit bigger and maybe just a couple of inches down, pinpoint, I can't quite reach it. Think of it a bit of a mole hill there, which has pulled my plug completely out. I think we're onto a coin from the look of that. I can see it sticking out of the, hole there. I think it might even be a modern. I think it's a nugget. No, it's is it a through. Yeah, it's a new new one pound coin. A modern one pound coin. Which is very grotty. Probably more grotty than some of the Romans I find. <laughs> but yeah, no. One pound coin to start the day. Spendable. I'll get me a coffee maybe. Or not. <laughs> well, I've got another one here. Big 85, 86. Hopefully not another modern coin. And we've got hard ground here as well. Nice big signals this morning. Plugs seem to be falling apart here. I don't know if they've sort of disked through this. That's something big, that. <laughs> I think that's gonna have a job to get it out. It's a part of a drain rod. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, never mind. Big brass bit on the end, giving a big signal. But yeah, never mind. We'll carry on. What you got, mate? I got a little fibula. Look at you, old fibula. You look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, mate, that's a cracker, isn't it? My first ever. Your first ever. Yeah. Oh, that's even better then, isn't it? Yeah. What a cracker, mate. That's beautiful. That's... It'll do. It'll do. I should think so, mate. Well done, buddy. Nice one, mate. Thank you very much. Right. Probably best signal I've had on this field. We just moved fields. We used the, uh, one of the shuttle buses and this hedge line. Hello, Henry. Hello. This hedge line along here is the, uh, what is supposedly a Roman road, which heads towards the villa. So we thought we'd have a go along here. There we go, a 54, 53. 
there's a lot of trash on here. I've dug a lot of foil. Henry had something nice and silver as he walked on the field, didn't you, mate? I won't tell him what it is. It's lovely. Urgh, that's hard. This is hard digging this field, mate, isn't it? Well, some of it is anyway. Oh, that's all I've done, actually, moaned about the digging, haven't I? <laughs> Probably on every hole. Oh, Jesus. That is tough. Still in there as well, a bit deeper. Come on now, it's very clay, stony soil. It's out. Sounds pretty clean actually. I can't get my pinpoint around again now guys, sorry. Bear with me. It's typical it's done that again. I need a new bag. Yep, I'm going to have to come back to you again, I think. No, nope, I've got it. Bloody thing. It's not very helpful, that. I think. Looks like a big piece of lead. Oh, or something. Didn't even know if it, I think it's lead. Yeah. Just a, just a piece. Nope, more trash. Just had a signal here in all of this solid, solid stuff. It's hard to even break out. I couldn't even break open the clod, if I'm honest. It was about a 24. Um, and it's this, I think. I think it's a tiny, what was a button. I think I can see where the shank was in the middle there. I thought it was a little Roman coin to start with. I saw that side, but turned it over and it's very silvered. Um, but yeah, very shiny. Good bit of plating on there, isn't there? Um, but yeah, little button. It's got my first find on this field, if I'm honest. We've been going for a little while. Um, and not getting much apart from sort of tin foil and junk, really. But yeah, there we go. A little button. First button of the day, I think. Pretty sure that is. There's a shank in the middle there, is where it was. But yeah, nice bit of silver on there, look. Lovely. Right, we've switched fields again, guys. I should show you the map, really. This is, uh, this is field 23 bit of a stubble field um yeah we're having a wander around that other field was so trashy this is my first signal on here so it's a solid absolutely solid 42 cracking signal that oh and that's nice digging oh that's lovely <laughs> oh, it came out in the first scoop be interesting to see what this is that is probably the best signal i've had all day if i'm honest is in this in this clod here, I think. Oh, that's something. I'm guessing. I'm thinking possibly a button. Maybe I can just see an edge, but no, not even a button. Just a kind of coppery washer thing, I think. Yeah, that gave off a very good signal. That. Never mind. Right, well, like I say, we're just sort of wandering fields now. We're into a bigger, big stubble field now. Huge, this one. Um, yeah, not, not a lot on that other field. Again, it was quite quiet. Uh, but I just had this. This was quite a big signal. I can't remember the numbers. I think it was high 40s, 50s. Um, but probably my most interesting find so far today. And I'm not sure what it is, if I'm honest. Some sort of decorated piece. It almost looks like a, like a stud bit there, doesn't it? Like a... I'm not really sure if I'm honest. Yeah, a bit of an odd one. But yeah, most interesting little artifact or partifact today so far. We'll carry on. A 60, this one, solid 60. Um, it wasn't quite so nice in the ground, but I think we're on to our first coin of the day, look. And that's where it was, that's the imprint of it. Can't, I did give that a rub, but you can see some of the green on there. Um, what we got here what do we got oh is it a little i think it's a nice little bun head again it is we'll give that a little spray up or i'll try to at least <laughs> with you on the camera it's very uh stubble here i can't really kneel down in, it in my shorts so we'll give that a little clean up i think i'm running out of water actually need to top it up when i get back to camp we've got ourselves a lovely little bun head again I do love a bunhead. That's one of the one of the many milled coins that I do really like. I give it a wipe on my 
new cloth here from Swing and Dig. Check out Swing and Dig Detectorist. Um, you can get yourselves one of these. Here you go, look at this. Dig it down. Logo on it. Nice new cloth. Um, yeah, you can use my code as well. Digger, digger Dan 10 for 10% off. There we go. 1861. Look at that. That'll clean up beautifully, that. But yeah, beautiful little bunny. What a lovely little portrait they are. Absolutely lovely. Great little find. Best find of the day so far. We're onto a little uh, Victorian coin there. Lovely stuff. Right, well, we've actually switched fields again. We've actually been back to the camp and had a little break. Um, and we've come out, come out again this evening. Um, Henry's over there. Sam there. Um, and yeah, we thought we'd have another little go with the other side of the, the trees now to where I found that fibula brooch. So we thought maybe that's worth a little little shot. Um, seems a little bit trashy again. Lots of falsing, lots of big iron in the ground. Um, but I've got this signal here. I'll, uh, I'll turn you around and we'll, we'll do a little live dig. It's probably the best one I've had on this field anyway so far. So we'll have a little live dig on this one. Just turn you around and clip you in. Sorry for the noise. I don't know if you can hear it. Let me turn my headphones. I think I've accidentally turned them down slightly. There we go. Forties, fifties. It's a bit of an iffy one again. Blurry. Pretty much every signal I've had, um, to be honest, has been fairly blurry and uh, iffy, if I'm honest. I don't know if it's just the amount of iron in the ground. It could be the mineral mineralisation, maybe. I did try ground balance earlier, but it seemed to make no difference, if I'm honest. It didn't, um, didn't change anything. Um, always worth a try, isn't it? Right, it's come out near the top again, so this was quite a trashy field this morning. And to be honest, most of them have been, so... <laughs> well, it's really near the surface, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, God. <laughs> That is like on the surface, that one. Oh, it's there. It was actually on the surface. It's just a little piece of copper. It looks like someone's dropped that, actually. Well, I thought that was deeper than that. Yep, more trash, unfortunately. Not sure what it is at all. It might be a bullet that's... Uh, I think it is a bullet that's hit something, actually. And it's completely disintegrated and gone into itself. <laughs> but, yeah. We'll carry on. We'll try again. We'll have another little crack and see what we can find. Whoa, rub those knees. Whoa, button born. Whoa, you little beauty. Sorry, focus. Focus on that beautiful button. You cracker. Look at that. Shame the shank is broken. But that is a cracker. Look at that. Gotta love a fancy button, eh? Little beauty. Now, could this be my saviour of the day? My one and only real good find, apart from my Vicky Bunhead half uh, half penny. This might just save my day, and I don't know. I've got my fingers crossed. Please, I'll turn you around. Let's have a look. Come on, please be. It was a 29, this... I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's not a button. I could be totally wrong here, actually. I could just be getting excited about nothing here. Oh, it's got a shank. Oh, you nasty. Oh, oh I thought that was a Roman coin. You little beggar. Oh, it was nice and thick as well. It's got the, at least it's got a shank, eh? No, let's not pretend it's good. No, it's not good. It's a blank, horrid button pretending to be a, a Roman coin. It's even got the edges of a Roman coin, hasn't it? Come on. Someone made a Roman coin into a button? No, let's not pretend. <laughs> oh. Okay, so, <laughs> so the button may have fooled me, um, but I don't think this one's going to fool me, and I think, I, I think I've actually found a bucket lister. Um... Let's have a look. Let's have a look, guys. This is going to be good. I think this is a good one. This is what I saw first. I did pick it up. Just put it back down in the hole. But it's a good depth as well, this. 
but I recognise this sort of triangle sort of shaped thing straight away um, we, all, we all know what that is don't we and look it's got the stone in it as well it's got the uh, the print in it I think so that's a I'm pretty sure that's a fob seal isn't it what on earth is that that print on there let me um I'll, I'm gonna be very gentle it looks like it's fallen apart a little bit on the edges so what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna clean it on camera I'll give it a spray up and a gentle brush um, off camera and we'll have a look at it together it's obviously missing the loop here um, but it's got the stone in, inside it still that's crazy looks like there's some writing there too let me um let me give it a clean up and I'll come straight back to you. It's show me, look, I've, I'm in the middle of filming my fob seal. <laughs> but you bought something really special, actually. I've never seen one like this. Yeah. What you got there, mate? Look at this. I've never seen one like it. It's a fibula brooch, isn't it? Look at the catch plate at the bottom there. That's very different, that, mate. I've never seen one like that. I've never seen that one. style. Is your first fibula as well? First fibula. You're the second person to have your first fibula today. <laughs> That's awesome, mate. Wow. That's very different as well. I've never seen that style. I wonder if it's... I was wondering if it's missing so, a little something at the top here. Maybe not. I'll check the hole. That's quite in line with, yeah. with the S shape, isn't it? Kind of... You know, maybe it's, that is complete. Maybe that is what it is. But the catch plate's all there. That's mad. Is there, some, there is some lines on it, some detailing as well. What a fine, buddy. Well yeah. done. <laughs> Get it. Back to my little fob yeah. seal. Look at that. Tired, there eh? we go, guys. It is a hair. It is. It's a hair with grass behind it. And I can't work out the right. And obviously, obviously it's backwards. It's sort of inverted, isn't it? Because when you stamp it, it'd be... It's kind of a mirror image, I guess. I might be able to take a picture of that and then mirror image it, maybe. See if I can figure out what it says. Something in. I can see in at the top there. But I can't work out the rest of it. It's very difficult to see. And I don't think I'm going to be able to stamp that into anything. Because because of this outer rim here. It's very weak. Um, and I think it's actually clear. It's clear glass with a red back into it. Looking at that. I'd say that's sort of George and Victorian, isn't it? But that's a bucket lister for me. I've never, ever found one with the with the glass or stone inside it um that's, that's glass isn't it it's got to be glass but that's very sweet little find that that little hair there and we've seen hairs running around all day today as well it's absolutely brilliant but yeah what a find very very pleased with that i think i can end my day on that and be happy that's uh that's a cracker absolute cracker of a find there we go <laughs> Kevin has had a cracking weekend, hasn't you, mate? I was just looking. I will have a look. I'll just have a look at your little room, and that is smashing, mate. Absolutely mint, that isn't it? That'll clean up beautifully. That that's a really nice coin. It's complete as well, isn't it? Like, yeah, totally perfect. Like a little crack. It is, really. isn't it? Is it a crack or is it do. just a mark? Maybe, mate. I don't think it's cracked. Yeah, but that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So he's had a Roman coin. A beautiful Roman brooch, which is your first, isn't it, mate? Yeah, sure. Absolutely first. So many people, I was just saying, so many people have had their first Roman fibulas this weekend. But that's that's a beauty as well. Absolutely smashing, mate. You've, you've smashed it, haven't you? A mm. um, couple of hammers in there. Look, all yellow stuff. <laughs> He's had a ring as well. Did you say it's got a dragon on it? Is that a, a stamp? 
looks like a dragon. Oh yeah, look at that. In the, that's like a dragon detecting stamp, look. <laughs> Hallmarks and everything, 375. Can't make out the rest. There's a T. Is that the date letter T? There you go. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. yeah. Can't quite see. I think there's a crown, maybe. Well, that's stunning, mate. Lovely little gold ring there. Hammered coins, look. You've smashed it, mate. What a weekend, eh? Right, so here we are, last day, Sunday fields, fresh fields, not been done yet. Um, and I've just had a little nine, and surprisingly, it's actually a coin, I couldn't believe it. Um, and it's a sixpence, one of the older, older sixpences. Um, oh, sorry, one of the later ones, actually, it's not a silver one, is it? It's 1964, so it would be a Cooper nickel one. <clears throat> but there we go, Elizabeth II, look. Yeah, so one of the later later versions. No silver involved there. But yeah, first coin of the day. Second signal, actually. So yeah, we'll carry on. Hopefully we'll have some good finds up here. We're right on the end of that Roman road now, or, or along it, um, as far as we can go, permission-wise. Um, but yeah, we'll carry on. We'll see what we can find, guys. First banger of the day. 23, 24... Cracking little signal that. Oh, I hit a hard spot. Typical. Every time I do a live. Soft feel though, this one. Happy digging today. Still in there somewhere. Pinpointer, I think. What's it gonna be? I think it's deeper. Pinpoint is going off a bit. May require a bit more digging that one. <clears throat> oh, maybe not. Totally disappeared. What's happened there? Oh, it's out. How did that happen? <laughs> Do not know how that happened, but it's out of the hole. It's here in this clod. And we've got something round. Now, is that a button? I think it is. I'm going to be fooled and thinking that was a Roman coin again. Yep, just a blank button, but it has got the shank or some of it left. But yeah. Little first button of the day. Shank's about to fall off actually. But yeah, lovely. We'll crack on. Okay, so this was coming in really low, really low, about a six I think. Between a six and an eight, but I wasn't expecting this, this from that. Um, looks like a, a bronze nail. Almost had me, I almost thought I had another fibula for a minute. Um, but yeah, bronze nail. I think that must be fairly old that I'm assuming it's a nail anyway it's got it definitely looks like one doesn't it uh, but yeah little bronze nail I think we'll film this one it's the biggest biggest signal we've had all day 70s 80s quite a bright signal that <clears throat> there's definitely quite a few signals on this field considering how many people have been on here been across it to miss something like this it isn't a little signal, is it? It's fairly deep as well, I think. Well down there. 
this out now. That is a nice signal. Gotta be a coin, hasn't it? Come on, it's gotta be. Oh, I don't know if it is a coin. It might be something else, and it might be quite nice. What is that? Please be something nice. <laughs> don't actually know that's what it's bronze is that a is it just a button might just be a very big button that I think it is I think that's where a shank would have gone that's huge big bronze button but still if I'm missing stuff like that there is hope <laughs> but yeah I think that's a button we find a little bit more on this field. I think just this one was about 26, right next to somebody else's hole. Look, only a foot away. Um, and it was this, I think. I think, if it'll focus. Pretty sure that is the piece of a watch, or the top of a watch winder, isn't it? With the little loop. I don't know if that is complete, but it's not got a hole in the end. Um, but yeah, I think that's what that is. Lovely little watch winder. Henry's come to have a snoop, haven't you, Henry? Yeah, like Hello. A snoop. Hello. You can have a snoop, mate. Look at my little watch winder. Ooh, it's nice. Yeah. It is this little decorated watch winder. It looks like a cartwheel on there, actually, doesn't it? A bit. Or is it just a pattern? Just a pattern, I think. But yeah, very cool. Very nice little find. All right, I've got yet another big signal. Up in the 80s, 79. Jumping to 88, let's turn on it a bit. Yeah, 82-ish. From 79 to 82, it's a bit jumpy, but again, like I say, another huge signal. Oh, what is that? I can see something green just popped out. What is that? Oh, well, you know what, I'm not entirely sure. It's quite a big... Is it a coin that's been hammered around the edges, I think? It's an odd one. I think it is a coin. I think it's one of those ones that's been hammered, hit around they're the... They used for a game. Did they used to use them as gaming? They're Henry's game, they're, uh, they're like gaming educating games. me here. Used to flick them, didn't they? And then like... I don't know, Pogs. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird game. Like, they used to do oh, right. So they used to hammer the edge flat, didn't they? Yeah. Make like a rim around the edge of it. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So it is a coin. My first coin, no, not my first, my second coin of the day. And I'm not even sure what it is. It's got nothing on it that I can see. No, no detail on it whatsoever. But yeah, been hammered around the around the edges to make it a gaming piece, right, Henry? Cheers, mate. Lovely. It's a bit of a thunderstorm mate, look at this. We made it back just in time. Come on, let's get some lightning. We love a good storm. Oh yes, look at that. That was a good one.
there we go guys that is that is the end of rcm 2024 excuse this got my mic in the top <laughs> um yeah what a cracking weekend there we go they're now clearing up the marquee the main marquee and all the other bits and bobs guys are here we're now packing down the dragon tent is nearly down all the stocks away um this is the monday actually so we we stayed later and uh, get things sorted can't we um without all the people here you know um but yeah no what an amazing weekend i just i'd really like to thank jordan dragon detecting um and all the marshals here gary himself thank you very much mate absolutely you you guys are amazing you do an absolutely cracking job it's one of the best weekenders i've ever been on toilets was especially clean this year uh, most cleanest toilets i've ever seen on a on a group dig on a, on a weekender um but yeah you, just amazing everything you've done is amazing um and raised a huge amount of money again for cancer charity so what more could you want you know that's what it's all about isn't it um i don't think i'll do a little roundup because i didn't have a great deal of stuff um you saw the best bits that fibula it's my weekend maker i had that on friday with a little roman coin um and didn't get a great deal else other than that that little fob seal beautiful little thing um but yeah no i've had a cracking weekend and those finds are just a bonus you know because you've met some incredible people um and and, and had an absolute blast um but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll catch you all on the next one. Detectable next weekend. See you soon.